All right, arguably a little too nice in Flagstaff today. 57 degrees, our high temperature, 44 the average for this date. Not quite on record warm. 65 was a record set back on this day in 1996. Our early morning low also very mild at 30 degrees, 18 the average for this time of year. All right, what's going on? Well, we have strong high pressure building in out of a uh, pretty Good looking storm system out in the Pacific and uh, this thing as usually happens when you have the cold air digging down out of the north and then out ahead of the storm it pumps in warm air and a, high, a ridge of high pressure is now settling in across Arizona and it'll max out tomorrow with temperatures about another five eight degrees warmer than today. We're going to be seeing some high temperature records broke for the date tomorrow, but then things will start to change uh, come Friday and particularly into the weekend when the storm starts to make its way in. Remember, the whole function of storm systems is to transport cold air from the south, from the north towards the south and warm air from the north or God, I'm getting confused here. Warm air from the south towards the north. The atmosphere doesn't like that it's freezing cold up at the poles and that it's warm at the equator. It wants to balance out. Of course, it never does. But storms, I would try to move that air around, bring the cold air down, the warm air up towards the north. All right, so tomorrow, this storm system makes its way in a little bit closer to the California coast, the ridge of high pressure bumps up out of Mexico, very warm across much of the western United States and into the plains. We get into Friday. The storm system continues to make its way down California coast and towards the east. We'll still be warm on Friday, but the breeze will start to pick up. Not quite as warm Friday as we are tomorrow. Tomorrow, the warmest day. And then things change up for us as we get into the weekend. The storm system moves into Arizona. We'll see widespread rain throughout the day and even here in Flagstaff rain during the day turning to snow as we get into late afternoon Saturday and into early Sunday and then the storm system kind of goes into Mexico and sticks around through the weekend and I think we'll see some unsettled conditions really it doesn't look like a big snowstorm for Flagstaff maybe a couple few inches Saturday evening with continuing snow showers possibly in the Sunday before it starts to make its way out of here by Monday but certainly much cooler as we get into the weekend and uh, showery weather uh, looks likely as well. 48 degrees for us currently outside, partly cloudy skies overnight tonight. Uh, forecasting early morning low, 29 degrees, way above average. Tomorrow, that uh, super warm day for this time of year, 63 degrees, our high temperature forecast, and the record for the day tomorrow. What is the date today? The 8th, tomorrow, the 9th? Something like that. Yeah, so tomorrow the 9th, the record for that day, 64 degrees, and that's a setback in 1996. And I would not be surprised if we at least tie it, if not break it. But uh, I'm going to go just under with my 63-degree forecast. Sedona, 74 tomorrow. That's not quite record warm. Payson, 70. Winslow, 70. 67 in Tuba City. And uh, 80 starting to pop up across the South Central Desert. Okay, here's up. Uh, Look at the forecast breezy on Friday with the approach of the storm. Temperature still in the 60s, much cooler over the weekend. I think we see rain on Saturday turning to snow sometime mid late afternoon Saturday with some snow through the night into Sunday and snow showers possibly continuing Sunday. It doesn't look like we're going to see any additional accumulation at this time as the storm continues off on a southerly track. But uh, I wouldn't be surprised uh, if we get a couple two or three inches out of this storm system Saturday night into Sunday. So uh, we'll see if uh, the storm changes tracks just a little bit. We could end up with more or less. Oh, gosh. Well, I'm going to take advantage of the next two days in the 60-degree weather. As well you should. Yeah. It's beautiful out.